the FDA approved the first medication for pain as a non-opioid medication in the last uh, over 20 years. Uh, this medication is called cisetrogen. It's a sodium channel blocker. It's one of the most important channels of the nerve cells. Without it, the nerve cells cannot conduct pain signals. 18 million people suffer from acute pain, whether from surgery, trauma, or other uh, injuries. And the current mainstream treatment is opioids. The efficacy is probably not as, uh, in terms of pain relief, not as good as a strong opioid, but it's comparable to the weak opioid, like a hydrocodone. From a scientific perspective, I believe this is not going to be an addictive medication because it's a, a sodium channel blocker. This has been used, it's not the only one. Uh, some of other medications, including some on, uh, antidepressant. Uh, the anti-seizure medication, for example, that's, very, <laughs> that's one of the most common mechanisms for anti-seizure medications, sodium channel blockers. So therefore, those medications do not have uh, addiction property. So this one, I do not see uh, it's going to be an exception.